fellow YouTubers and YouTuberettes. Alex here with another uh, quick video and in this one I'm going to be sharing a Scrivener comic template created by this man, Fred Van Lente, I think that's how you pronounce his name. Anyway, but he uh, created this comic template and it looks something like this, which you see on your screen. I'm not sure that's how you pronounce his name, Van Lente. Tay. Well, he lent us his script, so that's what we're the basis of what we're going over, but not the focus. The focus of this video is going to be um, about this book that I've been reading called Save the Cats by Blake Snyder. And uh, there is a book, or a couple of books now, I think, written. Um, it's called Save the Cat, the last book on screenwriting you'll ever need by Blake Snyder, but uh, it's not the last book because, like I said, he, he came up with some different ones, which I didn't make a note of. But anyway, um, Blake Snyder co-wrote Blank Check, which became a, a big hit for Disney and uh, Nuclear Family for uh, Steven Spielberg. Both generated millions of dollars in sales, and he was also named one of Hollywood's most successful spec writers. You can read more about Blake on his website, which is up here. Um, SaveTheCat.com And uh, this link is right here. The link will be in the description. But anyway, uh, so why, am I, why the heck am I talking about saving cats? Well, I'm a comic book artist who tried uh, collaborating with writers and that has not worked out too well for many reasons. I won't go into that, but... I also tried writing my own stories, which was even more of a disaster. So neither has worked out for me. I even tried downloading some of those scripts from uh, the script archives and uh, drawing them out, but uh, honestly, they just don't interest me. I'm not. I'm not looking to break into Marvel or DC. I'm just trying to make comics because I love to tell stories. A web comic is uh, more appealing to me, and who knows? Maybe down the road people like me or like my work or whatever maybe perhaps I don't even know if I'm at that level yet or will ever be anyway Save the Cat is a methodology of writing and developing stories that that even I can follow um, um, Blake I guess we're on a first name basis now the Blake Meister has a, a plot structure a beat sheet template that is uh, frankly genius um, it breaks down the three-story act into bite-sized, manageable sections, each with specific goals for your overall story. And it is called, drum rolls, the Blake Snyder BG, aka BS2. I'm not sure what the two stands for, but whatever. Now, I'm not going to go over the entire beat sheet and... Uh, I'm not going to go over the entire beat sheet, uh, beat by beat. That was cheesy, because it's uh, pretty self-explanatory, but uh, it, it is included in the Scrivener template that I created, and the download will be in the description. And speaking of that, here it is. The Scrivener template based off uh, Van Lent's comic script. Those of you familiar with it will know what all this is. If you're not familiar with it, you can watch my other Scrivener video and kind of gives you a, a brief understanding of how to use it. But this is what it outputs. But that's not the main topic. Like I said, the main topic is this right here. Save the cat. We're saving cats today. I included this folder in there, which uh, I jammed in all the stuff that I thought would be uh, helpful in understanding uh, the save the cat methodology and that beat sheet um, you could also find examples of real world usage um, of the beat sheets if you go into the uh, save the cat folder here all right so let's go over it real quickly here save the cat when you get the, the template um, save the cat and it has you know, on the cork board here you can also view it Alright, so 
save to cat and then the first folder is uh, I put use this folder to create yours so let's say you download the folder and you want to start you know writing a story here's the beat sheet it took me hours to make but uh, the log line I put examples there of uh, some tips on the log lines and then opening image theme stated setup all this you just simply fill out and once you start reading more about um, Save the cat. You'll understand what all this means, and it'll it'll be very easy for you to just fill out sections of your story. If, if you don't have a section, then that means you need to make one up. You know, the right one it means you're missing that part. Um, it even tells you 25. I think that's the amount of pages that you should be at when you write, or between pages 13 and 24. That's I'm not really sure what that means, but I think that's what it means. Anyway, it breaks down fun and games, midpoint, bad guys, all the elements in a story, in a structured story that you need. Um, if you look on the right here, the inspector, I got it, extra notes on here. I always look to the, to the inspector for uh, extra notes. If you can't see it, you might need to go in here, project notes, document notes, manage project notes. If you have it here, you won't see it. Uh, I don't really know what the difference between project notes and document notes is really, but um yeah characters i also made a character sheet also um included this you see the notes here from the inspectors right here comments you can read about the eight um most common character roles just this simple tips there you know um images 121 by 21 you can replace that image just delete that one and upload your insert your own to so insert image Name, gender, age, race, pretty self-explanatory, wants, needs, notes, six things that need fixing. You can change that if you want. And this will scroll down to if you, uh, this will expand. So, yeah, it took me forever to make, so. Anyway, um, then there's this uh, green light checklist where you can, uh, I was not able to make this clickable, I tried. I was not able to do it so either I don't know you can save this this uh, image and uh, open it up in a program where you can check mark or print you know, whatever um, so that's that that's if you want that's for your project let's use this folder to create your own yours so beat boards um, I included beat boards examples these are examples real examples of this being used this one's for spider-man 2 Spider-Man 2 beat sheet. There's the log line, and there's how everything was filled out. So once you start reading this stuff, I mean, you're gonna start. It's gonna start clicking right away because it's self-explanatory. I mean, it, it it really is. I mean, it, you know, you just read what each one of these means. You'll start beginning to. You'll begin to memorize these and know exactly what it is. And again, looking at the inspector, some extra notes. This is an example of how to fill out the beat sheet by using an example from Sp for Spider-Man 2. All right. So here's a couple of uh, here's a couple of um, cork boards or whatever index cards showing you each one. Internal Joe's. That's this one right here. And if you look on the inspector, this is the, uh, up here, the synopsis is where you put a, a brief description of what happened. Peter must deliver pizza on time or lose his job, or lose job. Very quick, short, you know, description. And then down here, you can put extra notes. Opening image is that of a beautiful Mary Jane billboard, which Peter admires, blah, blah, blah. Some extra notes for you right there. Same thing here. Peter tries to beat the delivery deadline, but here's what opposes him. This is uh, the problem, why he can't do it. He's running out of time to make his delivery. He switches to Spider-Man to deliver on time, but Spider-Man is sidetracked to help some children who are in trouble. And uh, Spider-Man saves kids from getting run over, but Peter misses the deadline. Then the next one is he gets fired. So you go on and go on filling those out using this beat board um, see the opening image billboard Peter fails to deliver pizza so all those indexes that I just showed you are following this beat board so 
if you even want to have them side by side, you, I mean, how beautiful is that? You know? That's just awesome. All right? So that's how those examples, that's, that's what that is, examples. So there's more examples in here. Um, I didn't do the whole beat sheet thing with all these. That would have taken me forever. But these are um, some real life examples of this beat sheet being used. Um, this one is on Batman Year One. Here is the premise, opening image, setup, catalyst, same thing that we saw in the beat board. And once you start reading how it's filled out, it'll start clicking, believe me. And there's some good ones in here. There's, uh, well, I don't know what this is, Lester Dent's Secret Master Plot. And there's some notes in here, some real good stuff here to help you out. The whole object of this is, is just getting structure to your story. There's an amulet book, Hellboy, which I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with. Um, I don't know what this is. Save the Cat Strikes Back. I guess this is another chapter in, in his book. The Mouse Story. Mouse? Is it Mouse? Right here shows you the same thing. The beat sheet. Monsters and a bunch of others there. So that's what that is. More examples. Additional info and resources. Save the Cat Summary. Um, this is uh, Kim Hartman, a writer who uh, I guess reviewed the book in debt. And added some extra notes in there and uh, opinions and really good stuff here. Um, read that. Um, her opinions and other examples on how to use it. Dude with a problem. Look, look at this. I mean, movie categories. These are the, the types of movies. Uh, Monster in a House. Golden Fleece. Which uh, Star Wars, Wizard of Oz. Playing Strange and Automobiles. Back to the Future. And most heist movies. Fall on the Golden Fleece. Out of the Bottle. I mean, it's just awesome stuff. Um, this one here is actually a screenshot of the website of uh, the uh, Cafe and Latte, I think, website. Um, it shows you the book for sale and actually the software. There's actually software um, that you can download the Save the Cat software, which is right here. I downloaded a trial, and uh, here it is. Um, awesome software. I mean, it has everything that I'm showing you. The only reason I made that template for Scrivener is because I can't afford this. This is $99. I don't know if I want to spend $99 after I, uh, I don't know, I might, I might, I might break down and buy it eventually, but not right now. But if you have the moolah, well worth it. I mean, look at this. I mean, the software is kind of sloppy looking, but look at this. I mean, geez, everything is in there. Everything, who, why done it? Superhero, right to pass. I mean, it's just amazing software. I'm surprised. I'm, I'm. I wish I would have seen this before I brought Scrivener. Right? Even though I love Scrivener, I think this this would have worked out better for me. But uh, anyway, back to uh, the template. Uh, Blake Snyder's beat sheet again. I go over it in text format in case you wanted to. I don't know. Copy and paste somewhere. Eight character roles. You saw that. In the, you saw that in the uh, character uh, sheet that I made. This is it right here. Log line templates again. If you're having difficulties with log lines, there's a couple of templates to help you out, and some ex um, tips on how to write a scene, which I took directly from the software, from uh, Save the Cat software. And the Save the Cat software is also available on iOS, uh, iPhone, iOS, Windows, and Android. Uh, but it hasn't gotten good reviews, so I'm going to pass on that for now. I mean, it's still pretty expensive, $19.99 for that. It's got terrible reviews. But uh, here's a couple of extra blank templates that I made. Um, this is the, the beat sheet. I don't know why this is not centered. Hold on one second. So this is a blank one in case you screw up the, the original one. You could just duplicate this, then drag it back into wherever you're working on and uh, start all over again. Um, same thing for the character sheet. If you needed another copy of it, just either duplicate it or copy and paste and start all over if you need more characters or whatever. 
just copy and paste from here. Uh, so it's like a just extra, so you don't have to. Or let's say you filled out all your characters and you need one more, and just copy and paste this. And uh, that's pretty much it. Um, that's all I've got for you for now. I um, also wanted to mention in the description, I also added the link to download it from my Google Drive. Download the um, this template. So you just download it. Um, and uh, new project. Um, oh, import templates. And then you go to wherever you saved it. Boom. Open it. I think you gotta save it first. Give it a you know save it. Give it a name, and eventually it'll be in here. Once you import the template, I put the uh, comic template based on formatting by Fred Lente. Lente Lent who lent us this video. I mean this uh, script. Um, these are included. Uh, you can even use this one if you want. Anthony Johnston. I think I covered him in the last video, and. Uh, so I put a link to uh, save the cat in there as well. So see here, you you would have to save it. And uh, boom, once you open that, you'll have this. So that's all I got for you today. Um, I know some of you may be ready to um, scratch my eyes out for making this boring video. And I don't know, maybe somebody, some of you may find it useful. Either way, um, if you're on the same boat as I am, an artist with no writing skills, and perhaps uh, this might open your eyes to a methodology that is very easy to grasp. I've used it to write a couple of short stories just, just to test it out. And uh, actually, there, there's some reviews that are in. I posted it uh, on Facebook. And uh, here's some. Uh, actually, I'll read some of the reviews. Uh, reviews number one says, Alex has written the best short stories ever written. Uh, 2018 belongs to Alex Fernandez. Um, Eat Your Heart Out, George R. R. Martin, and Shakespeare is Reborn. All pretty good reviews by my mother, but uh, let me tell you, she knows her literature. All right. <laughs> All right, thanks for stopping by and watching. Like if you like and like if you hate. Um, I care not. Um, peace, and uh, see you on the next one.